So today I'm going to show y'all how I installed the Nyax card reader on my vending machine that did not already have the holes to set up for the card reader. Um, Nyax card readers is for Apple Pay, credit card purchases, all that on your vending machine. It's supposed to bump your revenue up, man. Um, I'm going to show y'all all the contents, everything that comes with it, that comes in the box, everything you'll need to make sure your installation goes smooth. So let's get into it, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down in the comments if you have questions man let's get into it we're gonna need your nias card reader you're gonna need a drill that can handle a 13 by 16 drill bit man make sure your drill bit can fit in that drill you're not gonna be able to use one of them around the house electrical drills you got your card reader there and you're gonna need a nine foot installation cord to go with it man when you buy your card reader they'll give you the option to get that with it make sure you get it with it man because sometimes you're gonna need that extra slack to get around, you know what I'm saying, and make sure that, you know what I'm saying, your cords can get installed correctly and it's not in the way of some of the other things you got going on inside your machine. Inside the box, you got your card reader, man. That's right there inside of the bubble wrap. You got the three foot installation cord that comes with it. That's the natural cord that they sell with it. Sometimes that's long enough. I made sure I got nine foot because I knew I was gonna need extra slack for the machine. You got your antenna that comes in the box. You need that antenna hooked up to get a good signal to your card reader. This right here is the screen cleaner. You wipe it off, keep it clean, keep the fingerprints off of it. And this is the layout for all your drill holes that tell you where you need to drill so you can get the screws in for your back of your card reader when they're not already on the machine. So first thing first, man, you wanna make sure your vending machine is MDB compatible. That means that your machine is able to be connected to a card reader. That means that the card reader, when it's plugged up to your machine, it will actually work with your machine and it's not gonna block it or that your machine's gonna even plug into the card reader. You need to make sure that your machine has these six prongs on the plug-in. If it has nine prongs, that usually means that the machine is not MDB compatible and you're gonna need an adapter for it. And you need to make sure that the machine's software can handle a card reader. That's another thing. Like you gotta make sure that the adapter is even gonna allow the card reader to work with your vending machine and it's not gonna cause the machine to kind of trip out because the software can't handle the card reader anyway. So moving on. So my car reader is going to go right in this open space up here. Um, I actually had to come in and cut a piece out of the machine to make sure that the car reader could fit. As you can see right there, I couldn't record it, but I had to saw that steel off of there to make sure that the back part wouldn't be hitting it when it closed, as you can see. So after I cut that piece off, I went ahead and bought my car reader. And I'm going to place it right here. I got a nice space here that I'll be able to drill my holes, place my car reader. I'm gonna grab my mock layout here, start to mark the spots where the holes need to be cut. So I went ahead and just marked every spot where I'm gonna need to drill these holes at using the layout that they send in the box. That way I know where to drill and that my holes are gonna be matching up. So then I grab my 13 by 16 bit and I start to drill straight through. I did the biggest hole first, as you can see right here. Took a little while to get through, make sure you're wearing goggles protecting your skin man still was flying everywhere i was protected though my arms got hit a little bit but after that i did all my other four holes in the corners like i said man make sure you're being safe protecting yourself everything you need to keep all those metal shots from going in your eyes man and your skin hurting yourself make sure you're using all safety measures after i got my four holes drilled out i clean them up a little bit cords will be going through the holes so you want to make sure they're not going to be stripping or anything like that i could have done a better job but i am not a handyman now i grab my nias card reader as you see on the back it's got a bracket with this with the holes that it's got the screws in it so i went in took the screws out take that back bracket off on a machine that's already set up for it that bracket just goes back on the back side once you put it in it's real easy with this one you're not going to need the back bracket so i took the bracket off I sent my cords through the middle hole, plugged in my connection, my MDB cable first to the back of uh, the Nias card reader, made sure it was nice and secure, passed the cord back through. Then I grabbed my antenna cord, I passed the antenna cord through the hole, connected it to the back of the card reader. I left the slack in there, tied in with the, with the zip tie. Once it was zipped in, good to go. I start to screw in the holes in the back of the nice car reader, start to screw the screws back in there to get it secured. As you can see, man, 
nice and tight fit perfectly just like I wanted it up top now I'm gonna plug in my MDB cable to my machine the six prongs goes right into the fell meat fell the female male connector goes right in then I connect the other one male to female to the machine both ends are already on the court should have those two cords already coming from your bill validated in the machine these two cords here are not really important now that I got it all connected close the machine up you can see the card reader instantly comes on I'm gonna give it a test run here to see if it's working so now that it's all on I'm gonna give it a test run to see that it's working correctly I put my card in choose one of the snacks to see if it vends selected the salt and vinegar chips let's see what happens approved everything looks good to go the machine vends the chips they drop once I get my after the video I'm gonna secure the cord in the machine a little bit better with some zip ties to make sure that it's not running across anything and can't be seen so there you have it. Now this machine is credit card compatible. People can pay with their cards, Apple Pay, all of that. In the next video, I'm going to show y'all how to set it up on a machine that already has the brackets and everything set up for you to add a card reader on it. It's a lot simpler than this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for that video. Like this one, comment any questions you have, man. I'll see y'all on the next video.